Well, hold on. Cuphead and his pal Mugman, they like to roll the dice. By chance they played the devil's game. Pay the, the price. Pay the price. I forgot and the words. And now they're fighting for their lives. And you forgot the words too. What are we doing today, Jack? We're doing um. Coding, right? Yeah, we're c learning how to code. What doing, are we using? How to learn how to code? Um. Uh. Scratch. <laughs> That's correct. We're using Scratch. Let's head on over that way. And here we are. Uh, we Can are gonna... you save? I haven't. I'm right here. We just started. Okay. I can't, I can't save something until I create something. So this is a cool little game we've got. That, uh... Oh, make it spin. It's not a game. What? Make the cat spin. Alright, hey, Jack wants me button. to... Oh! Don't hit me. Alright, Jack oh. wants to make the cat spin. So that's going to take a rotation, right? Yeah, you have to use forever too. All right, so we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the turn 15 degrees, which we can just t click on it and see what it does. Do you want to turn them that way or the other way? No, like automatically. Where you use where, forever? Is this the right way, or do you want them to go the other way though? Uh, that's fine. Okay. All right. Let's look for forever. Is that an operator? No. Event. All right. We're, when this is clicked, we're gonna start it with that. Forever. No. Yeah. Do, do that. All right. That. Whee! Okay. That's our first code. Let's save it. Hold on. Let's edit this right here. It's hard to click on that. So can we make them spin slower if we do a smaller number? Yeah. All right. Let's try that. Oh, he's only spinning a little bit now. Okay, go to five. What an amazing program! <laughs> okay, go to five. He's doing a spin kick! <laughs> do a five. <laughs> okay. Okay, it won't go as slow as five. You wanna five. do five? Okay. We'll try five. And go! Whee! Do you wanna save that? We can save that, sure. Alright, what else? What, you wanted to make one though. Let's, let's cl sort of clear this out. You wanted to make one where he runs back and forth, yeah. right? So let's see. Um, can we find? And change his mouth and meow like this. Okay. Where are you going? I'm just spinning. I like to. Right, how do we get to? Wait, where's the hacking thing? What hacking thing? The. This hacking thing? Okay. Yeah. It's fine. We can't. We can't show the people we're coding if we're on the hacking thing. Okay. All right. So we wanted we. The, uh, we want to find some backgrounds, right? Yeah. They have costumes. How do we get to... Backgrounds? Choose a backdrop. Here we go. Okay. What backdrop should we use? Mm, let's try base... No. Let's try castle. Castle 4? No, castle 1. Castle 1. Okay. Alright. Now we can go away from backdrops. I don't know what that is. We don't want that. All right, back to the code. So we're gonna have him. Let's move him down here. So he's gonna run back and forth right there. Yeah. Okay. So we'll start with the event operator when start is clicked, and, and then we, we want him to forever. move. Right. This is for him. But we might need a forever too. Maybe later. Okay. Well, we're gonna have him move ten steps. Let's just ha see what happens if he does that. Okay, that's 10 steps. Okay. Can we have him change if he hits the edge? Is that possible? Sensing. How about sensing? Is it in sensing? Touching edge. Okay, so. I think we need a forever to do that. Well, let's. Don't leave. I'm not. Okay. I'm just spinning. Look at my awesome white shirt. It's, it's see-through. How do we do if? Okay, if touching edge, then... Alright, now we want him to change direction, right? Yeah. So we want... Oh, here's that's if on that. edge bounce. Wait, we don't that's want what that. I was trying to find. Let's see if on edge bounce. Oh, oh, I know. If touching edge, then we're going to move negative 10 steps. 
Oh, but we want him to keep moving negative 10 steps, right? How do we keep moving negative 10 steps until he touches it's the forever. other way? We don't want to do it forever, right? Yeah. We're going to use repeat until and then touching edge again. How about that? Yeah. So this is going to go here. We're going to copy, duplicate, duplicate that, and we're going to chug that in there. But we're going to say move negative 10 steps now. All right. Okay, now click. Let's see if we got it right. We have to... Oh, we have to forever this, this whole chunk, right? Yeah. Okay. I think you need the left-right thing. How do we do left-right? I don't know. We can look. That. Yeah. Set rotation style? Yeah. Well, we're not going to ro rotate, though. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, we are. Like, it's going back and forth. Like, running. That's just going to spin around, though. We but want him to go boom, 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 boom. That's bong. what it's going to do, I think. There's glide. Try that? You didn't bring the book out here, did you? We're just figuring this out on our own. Uh, we can figure it out. Let me go bring the tutorial. Now a word from our sponsors. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ad break. Today's ad break is for Walmart earbuds. They're awesome. These are little on earbuds I got for $20 in the back to school section. These ones are gray. They're also available in black and white. And Jack wanted me to do a funny commercial, but this is a real one because these guys are amazing. For 20 bucks, listen what they got. They got in-ear detection, right? Which they have vastly improved over the previous model. I know maybe you've gotten burned on the old on earbuds. I had the same problem. Literally tore mine open, cut the wire, stopped the in-ear connection detection thing because it was awful in the old earbuds, all right? What have they done? They have absolutely overhauled that. It is amazing now. Go get you a pair of on earbuds from your Walmart locally today. 20 bucks, okay? They're fantastic. Battery life. I don't, I don't know about the sound. I don't. I listen to podcasts, so whatever. But the cost, the battery life, the functionality, fantastic. Dad. And now, back to our Dad. regularly scheduled programming. One click forever. Move 10 steps if on edge bounce. Okay, so this is what... Oh, so they, oh man, so they're not anywhere near, we were, we, we weren't all, like terrible with this, but we were terrible with this. All right, let's delete that. Okay, so it says if on edge bounce, we just shove this in here and then it should work. Let's move our guy back over here. All right. What? <laughs> okay. Well, he does bounce. Let's. Okay, let's move him to closer to the ground. Uh. Do you think he's... Why is he going upside down, though? I don't know. Try it again. Can we stop that from happening? I think. Let's look at the code book. Ah! Stop! <laughs> oh, now he's... Wait, oh, it thinks he's... Huh. Okay. What? Set. Ro oh, we need to go set... This. We missed one of the steps, Jack. Set rotation style. Left, right. Now... Do this to him. All right, let's try again. It's not what. It looks like he's flying. <laughs> Set rotation style left, right. Oh, okay. So that's not. That's fine. It doesn't. It stops him from going upside down. We didn't necessarily want him to just go all over the screen, though, did we? <laughs> no. Can we set his direction point in direction ninety? All right, let's start this way. Okay. Interesting. So, we can... Because we had him sort of bouncing around before, he was going in a weird direction. If we... Hmm. If on edge bounce. I was wondering if we could, like, select a random... I mean, we can definitely change the direction, right? We can just have him go, like, that way. And then he bounces around like this. Okay, but if you change it... But, but let's not do that. We don't want that. Can we make him jump when we hit the space bar? So let's, let's stick in a, a control, or a event. An extra control. When space is pressed. Alright, motion. 
If on edge bounce. We're going to change x by 10 degree by 10, right? Yeah. And then we're going to wait like a second, I guess. One second. And then change, or, hmm. That's tough. So we can change x by 10 and then change x by negative 10. Let's Will that make that. him jump? Let's see. Let's see. That's a good good idea. Mm, we need to, I think it's happening at the same time. So it's putting him up and putting him immediately back down again. Because... So we're gonna. What if we did glide? Let's add up. glide. <gasps> Try that for the jumping. Well, I'm trying to. But you don't know if it's right or not. Well, I'm thinking about it. So we can glide up a little bit. He doesn't have a jump button, like. So we want him to just go up a little bit and then come back down. But we can make him jump. So we can put a weight function in here, right? Maybe. We can definitely put a weight. Yeah, weight. Like we don't need to need to wait a whole second, but. but um, we we'll do like. Point two seconds. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see. Oh. Oh what? We are changing X. We wanted to change Y. <laughs> Which one is? Uh, we should have put a. Uh, they. We should put a the like. Start um the a clip like. Here like. Sorry, we have interrupted your show because there was no way to warrant. Hey, we kind of made him jump. Okay. Let's make him jump higher. What about 50? 50? 50 is a big jump. Do it. All right. Negative 50. All right. So he's going to, like, here's the problem. Oh, he, that's actually not that big of a jump. The problem is it's not really a jump. He just skips up. I wish we could glide him up to 50 to, like... Jump? Right. So we have glide. Like, why don't you add a glide? To... We don't want to mouse pointer. We don't want random position either. I know. Alright, let's delete that one. And see if this What works. is his current... Okay, so his current Y, we can look at... Whoa, stop, stop. <laughs> Why is it... Point, it? point him in direction 90. Why is this so hard? Some people can make games out of this. Yeah, we're gonna make a game out of it. No! Just oh, 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 I see, I see. Because we have this glide function here, we're just absolutely screwing it up. Okay, so where do we want him? We want him about here? Maybe. Okay, so we're gonna set that. That's gonna be his main Y, right? We're okay yeah. with him? So, he's, he's going to go up from there. His, uh, the X doesn't matter. We want him to stay at current X. Can we, okay. We're not even going to mess with the X. Set X to the X position, whatever it is. And then set Y to. 150. 150. We're currently at. So it's going to go down, actually. So we want... 20? 150? Okay. Alright. We don't want it to take very long. Uh, let's do point two seconds. Whoa! <laughs> okay. That's... I guess that's what Glide does. Okay, put the cat down. I'm trying. I'm trying. I, I, we want him to delete that block. We're going to duplicate that. Not that part. 